would never do anything wrong, right? No. So he would never sit through the scarf like this. So when I build my frames and he sits through the scarf, right, his shoulders are vertical, his hips are behind him, his knee is under my shoulder, okay? So I can push and trip, and he's got his legs and his butt behind him to stop me, right? And this is where me keeping my frames in place is so important, okay? I'm still at his hip here on the bottom. I'm still at the head on the top, okay? Because he's connecting himself to me, right? His hips are connected to mine so that I can't create any space here. So instead, I'm going to get him push in one direction. What's his reaction to push into me, right? So I'm going to set up, he pushes into me, and I'm going to bridge. Building that frame. I've got that. I should be able to see underneath him here, right? So we're in our scarf. I start to sit up, doesn't work. He pushes into me. I'm going to bridge him up, and then I'm going to connect my knee to my elbow. Start pushing us back and front. Okay? Now, my bottom hand doesn't need to be on his hip anymore, so I can post on his face. If he drives into me, then we end up working on our regard that we did over the weekend, right? If he bails, then I can't catch this omoplata. And he bails, then he's standing up, he's going to try to pass my guard, or we're back on our feet. Right? So I'm trying to cause a scramble. It's not one of those where I'm going to be able to walk step by step through quite as easily, because it's all based on his reaction. Make sense? Mm -hmm. But my frames don't move. Bent arms are much safer than straight arms, right? And if he hits the scarf and I start pushing the straight arms, he's going to pop his hips up, keep control of this one, and probably arm bar me, right? Stand up. Yep. Post up, knees comes into my hip, or into my armpit, sorry. Where is that butt? Yep. And he snaps my arm, right? So I don't, I don't want my arms to become straight. If I straighten the top one, he Americanas me. Right? Or at any point, you may try to take them out. I don't want to deal with any of that. I keep those arms in safe position. One more time. Build my phrase. Boom. He sits back. Yep. He hits his scarf. I'm trying to strip out, drive into him. He drives in. I'm going to bump his hips. Okay. If I want to go ghost here, I can. That's an option. Right? Because I've already got that space. If I want to connect my elbow to my knee which is what we talked about on Saturday with preventing guard passing. Try to keep that space. That's fine too. And then I can start coming underneath, jailbreak, all the different things we've talked about over the last few months. Questions? So, try to hit the sit-up. That doesn't work. <laughs> Take them back over the top. If they drop their hips again, maybe I go back to the sit-up. And that's where this goes from move, move, move to concept. Right? It goes goes from a single move to a scramble. It goes from the, the first move to the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, ninth move. Right? If I have to think, it's too slow, he's going to break something. Or he's going to react. So I want to have different tools in my shed for the reactions. That's weird. Questions? About the move, not about the shed? All right, with your partners, one, two, three. You're going to be in the